Welcome again, YouTubers, to another Game of Thrones video. All right, today, if you have not seen it already, they just came out with the first real official teaser of Game of Thrones Season 7. Now, this is a huge deal because this isn't talking about all these different sigils crumbling and all these different houses failing. That was stupid, that last one that they showed. It was almost as dumb as doing the release of the date in a block of ice. Instead, this was a real one. This is finite. We got to see stuff from the upcoming season. What we saw was three characters. Fortunately, these three are some of the only characters we actually care about. So it was great to see that they were implemented a lot into the trailer. So first thing, the three characters that we see. We see Jon Snow, we see Daenerys Targaryen, and we see Cersei Lannister. Now the theme for this video is basically the long walk. So walking to their throne rooms respectively and having a seat on their thrones. You have them interspliced throughout the whole thing, throughout the whole journey of their walk. It goes like John, then Danny, then Cersei, then John, Danny, and Cersei, over and over and over until they finally have a seat. Now, the things that stick out in particular, you see John. John is clearly in Winterfell. He's wearing cloaks and armor that are very reminiscent of Rob Stark in particular. At least that's the first Stark that popped in my head, but is kind of a classic Stark wear. You have Cersei Lannister who's sporting her look that we've seen in the last episode of Game of Thrones Season 6 where she basically looks like the Evil Queen, surprising she doesn't have an apple in her hand as she sits down. But the more important one, and pretty much the most intriguing thing about the entire trailer, is all about Daenerys Targaryen. Last we saw of Daenerys Targaryen, she is on her way on a ship coming over to Westeros. It looks like she and the rest of her horde are going to attack Westeros and take the Iron Throne. I did a video about this, about where Daenerys Targaryen is going to land when she hits Westeros. There were several locations that were possible, but based off this trailer, it looks like that location is going to indeed be Dragonstone. Dragonstone is the home of Stannis Baratheon, well, former home of Stannis Baratheon before he died. And that is also where Aegon the Conqueror started his conquest of Westeros. That is Daenerys' ancient ancestor that took over Westeros and combined it all together. So it was only logical that she would end up on Dragonstone and begin her conquest there as well. There are a few pieces that are telling as to whether or not this is Dragonstone. The first one being there is stone everywhere. When she walks by, stone. Other places, stone. At one point I thought she was possibly somewhere up further north because it looked like there was snow on the sides of her. But nope, it was just light stone. <laughs> Another one, they walked by one of these candle holders, and the candle holder to me looked like it was possibly the same one that Stannis and Melisandre are looking at in this photo. I know it's a little bit different, but it's shaped roughly the same. Maybe there is one right there, and definitely you could see kind of in the background of the photo, it's a really long-haired, light-haired person. So that has to be Daenerys because Cersei lost all her hair. And finally, the throne that Daenerys sits on looks like it is carved right into some stone. Now, you don't see the giant dragon head nearby like you can in this photo with Stannis Baratheon, but that's not exactly where it's placed anyway, so like that doesn't throw me off by any means. I don't think it's inaccurate. But it's exciting to know that, I guess, Daenerys does in fact make it to Dragonstone, and it's only appropriate that she would get there. She probably does find it to be like a pretty cool thing that she's gonna end up starting where they did. Unless somehow this trailer is showing her after she ends up taking over King's Landing, but if she did that, she would probably be on the Iron Throne. So, that's probably not the case. The most intriguing thing, I think, about all these characters walking by is not that they are walking. Once you get done Danny being at Dragonstone, that's great, but notice the music that is playing along with this trailer. I don't know the name of the song, but I took some screen caps with a closed caption on, and you can see the lyrics that go with it. They go, those that are touched by sadness, sit down next to me. And they're talking about sitting on these thrones. And that particularly was under Jon Snow. And there's no one sadder on the planet than Jon Snow. And then the next verse was, those who are touched by madness, sit down next to me. And guess who was there? Cersei Lannister. Of course she's the one that's gonna be associated with madness. She's the Mad Queen. And the lyrics kind of repeat over and over again, come sit next to me, sit down, blah, 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 blah. But the ending, after all that's done, all the music stops, close-ups on faces. We see Cersei, she goes and she blows and that is relating to white walkers i believe it's talking about the winter and i think that's not saying that she's a white walker or anything like that i'm sure someone in one video one review video one article is going to say is cersei a white walker this whole time no we're not pulling a loki where she's a frost giant no instead i think it's supposed to be symbolic of winter is here it's here folks and particularly for Cersei. But 
that is what I kind of took away from that. And then of course, once it, get, it gets past her doing that, it just, the camera pulls out to the, right into the eye of a giant white walker. And again, people are like, oh, does that mean they live in the world of a blue-eyed giant? No, I don't think that's what it means either. It's just, again, it ties in the looming threat of the Night's King. And that's really what's coming up. I mean, it's like, remember, we have the Game of Thrones going on with Jon, Cersei, Daenerys. But very soon, that doesn't matter. And you get the real threat, which is the Night's King who has his eye on the realm. But that was my takeaway from the trailer. I'm so excited. I can't believe that I have to wait till July 16th to actually see these episodes go down. I mean, seeing Jon Stark in, whoa, I just call him Jon Stark. Seeing Jon Snow in his cloaks, his starkly robes, is just so exciting. And seeing Daenerys in formal Targaryen wear rather than her summer wear over in Essos is so cool. I mean, she's wearing the black with like a red sash over top and a dragon pin right here holding it all together. And that's very reminiscent of some photos that I've seen of like Rhaegar Targaryen like renderings. So it's really cool to see that all come into fruition. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you have any comments about the video, please leave it down below because I want to talk to all of you about this video. I'm so excited. Remember, please do not post spoilers of anything other than what was in these videos that are released by Game of Thrones and HBO. Please watch out for that. I would love to talk to you more and more. If you want to check out some of my other videos, you can of course check out these right here. Got some different stuff going on, got some Walking Dead, some Game of Thrones, all kinds of cool stuff here at The Bat Productions. And if you want to check out some more, just click the subscribe button and make sure you get all notifications. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day, you take care, and you goodbye.